David McKenna. I am the Chief Executive Officer of the Middle East Council of Shopping Centers. We are an industry professional group for anyone in the retail industry. The retail industry it occupies around 10% of the global GDP, so it's a huge industry globally. We represent the Middle East and we have around 622 shopping centers that are members. And we, we liaise with these people on a regular basis to help them really facilitate their business and to raise the personal profiles of all of those people that are in the industry. You look at the success of some of the large shopping centers, look at Dubai Mall, or if you look at Mall of the Emirates, and they're very, very highly populated malls in terms of traffic. Dubai Mall have probably 75 million a year of visitors, which is about 220,000 people per day. So it's a big, big, uh, it's, a, it's a mini city that's operating every day. So all the logistics that go into operating that mall and all of the things that go with supplying the shops and making it all work. It's part of a huge industry. Is there will be a, another increase in the number of shopping centers in Dubai. And people ask me, why, why do we need any more shopping centers in Dubai? The, the real reason is, is that the, the malls like Dubai Mall and Mall of the Emirates are already trading at their uh, limit. They're called overtrading, which means that it may not be as pleasant to shop in those malls on some occasions. So on the weekend days, for instance, when you have your full 220, 250,000 people, it may not be as inducive to spending money as when there's fewer shoppers. We have 10 million visitors coming into the UAE, into the Dubai market, on an annual basis. That's 10 million, who occupy around 85,000 hotels. By 2020, we'll have around 20 to 25 million visitors, which is double the number we have today, because we only have 10 million today. So if you look at it very just from a very logical point of view, we'll need to double the amount of retail space to be able to accommodate a doubling in the number of tourists coming into the region. Um, Sheikh Mohammed is at a launch of the Mall of the World. And Mall of the World is going to be located right across Sheikh Zayed Road from um, Emirates Mall. It'll be uh, Mall of the Emirates and Mall of the World right beside each other. It's called Souks to Malls, and it's the retail evolution in the Middle East and North Africa. It's a, it's a summary and photo form of photographs that we have from 1887 all the way through to 2014 of the retail and how it's really matured and, and come along. One of the things that I think is really important for everyone to understand about the quality of the retail in Dubai, for instance, right? 10, 12 years ago, the quality of the retail in Dubai, if this was the world standard, Dubai was probably here. 10 years later, the quality of the retail in Dubai is here, and the world standard is here. So it's much higher than the rest of the world now. It's really leading edge. So what we wanted to do in this book was really showcase how the growth and the evolution of the retail has made Dubai such a popular destination on a global basis but also to showcase the people and the industry veterans who have been associated with growing this uh, industry where it is today. Well, I think to look out for what I enjoy in the book is to look out for the, uh, the historical photographs. We have photographs that were taken of the uh, Dubai of the fish market in 1962. And it's a fabulous photograph because the uh, people who are in the picture are largely women and they're sitting looking at the fish that have just arrived for today and then figuring out what's going on. The children who are with them are all beaming and smiling because they're looking at the fresh fish that they're going to get for dinner. So it's a lovely, lovely photograph. We also have photographs of the Dubai airport in the um, early 60s as well. And it's basically sand and an airplane. And it's a, a fabulous uh, shift from what we see today. Now the awards are really something special because we send these awards along to all of the rest of the, uh, uh, there's, they're ranked along with all the rest of the different countries and cities in the world. And some of these awards are then taken forward to uh, our global awards in Las Vegas in May. And last year, actually, one of the awards for one of the best marketing campaigns came out of Saudi, which is unusual because people would think that Saudi maybe wasn't as sophisticated as some of the other. Places like New York or Los Angeles or Paris or London, 
But what they had done to win that was to bring a focus to women's issues in Saudi. And that was a major way uh, that, they, that they won their award. This year, our Recon Conference is uh, it's our 20th anniversary, first of all. And it's a huge celebration because our organization has been around for 20 years. We're hosting it at the Ritz-Carlton DIFC. And it's in, uh, in the hotel there. And we have um, October the 12th, 13th, and 14th. And on the 12th, we have an educational program, which is very well. In fact, it's already starting to get sold out for what we have. We have instructors from around the world who discuss relevant issues, topical issues, and trending issues, and bring them around to Dubai to our students who are from all over the world as well, but largely from the GCC. So that's the first day. That's the Sunday. We're also having our book launch on that Sunday, and uh, we're, we're doing that in the evening at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. Monday, we have a retail futurist, uh, Doug Stevens, is coming in to speak. He's a noted author, and he talks about the future trends of real estate, the future trends of retail, and what it means to each different country, and what it means to this region in particular. So we're really looking forward to seeing him. After that, we have uh, a number of panelists who are coming from around the GCC area, who are going to be speaking about our new book, Souks to Malls, and talking about the past retail and the future retail, and what they've seen in their own, and what they see in the future. And I think if we could say anything about what's happening at this Recon Conference, it's all about a look into the future. And most everyone's always interested to see what other people predict to happen in the future.